along the uh, penalty boxes looks to have stagnated. Kind of came out the back of that crowd like a rugby scrum. Oh, what a loose puck. Oh, dear. What, is, what a big mistake in front. Russell coughed up the puck. CJ Mott comes to his rescue. Now Luke Ferrara up the other end might have a chance. Ferrara from a bad angle shoots high. Gloved. Look like it was going to the, the face of Kevin Linscow because we look at the replay. You see the mistake. Good save from CJ Mott. There's lack of it. Chips it in behind, ends up in the corner with Cowney. Oh, out in front, Gary's got some room to manoeuvre. A diving, CJ Mott came out of nowhere to keep that play safe and in the hands of the Coventry Blaze as Thompson stopped and tried to jam it back towards Larkin. And loose puck here for Eichstadt, rips one. And a big save by Linskow, who really has been extremely solid in this first period. Nothing's got by him. Hamannick. Into the neutral zone, Bludorf finds Marsh, Marsh, back in front and they score! Evan Bludorf and Alec Marsh combining for the first goal of the night and the first competitive goal at the Skydome Arena in well over 18 months. Bludorf takes a long stretch pass, him and Marsh give and go and he just needed to provide his stick blade as an option and Evan Bludorf gets his second goal of the Challenge Cup. He scored last night. He scored tonight in front of the Blaze faithful. And Alec Marsh picks up his second assist as well of the, uh, the Cup campaign. There's Gary. Gary, nice stick handles. Good poke check from Halbert. Larkin and dropped the puck off as Ewell went to take the open ice check. Larkin had his head on a swivel, caught it. But Guilford are going to bring it in here. Oh, Lakovic capitalizing on a mistake off the inside of the post, and it's got home. Robert Lakovic ties this game up. The long time Nottingham Panther catching fire as a Guilford flame, and the pinch from Thompson. Lakovic walk on in, and the backhander, sort of akin to Tyson Fawcett's goal on Wednesday. Is Marsh really under some pressure? Alec Marsh did really well to retain the puck. Gibson gets through the hit. Bludoff trying to stick lift log. There's going to be a chance for Cable in on alone on a breakaway. He scores! Wonderful finish from Levi Cable. His second goal of the Premier Sports Challenge Cup on a breakaway. And well, this is one for the highlight. Took the stretch pass the water bottle and the Guelph Flames two in relative quick succession Blaze will bring this puck out the zone dumped in another big hit this time on Larkin and oh it puck came off awkwardly off the backboards Linskow was able to prevent that one from rebounding off him and in there is Cable Tries to shoot, comes off the skate of Halbert. Now he is going to skate. Deeks round Watson. Just ahead of him. Oh, and he's taken down. No penalty called on that play. And the end ends up getting bumped into the net by Alasari. Well, uh, I'll be interested to see that series of events again as we watch Halbert in this foot race. And it looks like Watson had caught hold of the cuff of his glove, I think. And then Alasari gives him a gentle little shove into the net. But either way, we're going to stay five on five, although some afters in the corner. Watson and... I'm trying to see who that was for the blaze. Clements? Not best impressed. Ferguson. Fuck along the penalty boxes. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on that play, though. Gibson throws a shove on Cable. He was turning. And, uh, well, Levi Cable not happy with Alec Marsh, who kind of just went to go stand in front of him. And I think it's Dane Gibson with the initial hit. So we're going to see at least one penalty here. Alisari into the corner. Big chance for Guildford to take a two-goal lead. Bolton drops it off to the left wing. Find the goal line out in front, looking for Waters. A fry. 
Albert has a little whack at the puck, collects a player as well, and <clears throat> Albert really unimpressed here, and there's going to be some physicality in the corner. Just gentle pushes and shoves. But Nate Halbert really playing with a, a bit of angst. It's teenage kicks all through the night at the Skydome Arena. As Ross Venus is having a bit of a jaw at A. Guilford Flame, who's heading to the box. That's Dunbar. Halbert's going to, I think, make his way to... I missed this. Evan Bludoff having a bit of a friendly chuckle with Jesper Alassari. There's not been a lot of friendly uh, actions in this game. Nice to see a lighter moment as Ferrara drops that one off. Oh, there's some space for the blaze here. Halbert, oh, he got it through a crowd, tipped out the air by Ferrara. Linskog makes a save. What a goal that would have been had that have found its way behind the line. Not to be, though. Larkinen to Bludoff. Halbert, full stretch, couldn't control it. And Guilford will clear that one out. And that'll be, for all intents and purposes, all she wrote in the second period. Players will want to get this defensive zone draw one, get up ice and try and spend uh, as much of the last 34 seconds of this power play as they can in front of Kevin Linskow. Clements. Drops that one off. Brawl across the line. Takes a hard wrap on the stick. Oh, and there might be a breakaway chance here. And there is. It's McNulty. All alone in on goal. He scores short-handed. Ian McNulty. His first is a flame. The blaze broke down in the offensive zone blue line. McNulty sprung free. And he looks like he just slipped it five hole on CJ Mott. Guildford three, Coventry one. Here's Ferrara. Thompson heading to the net front. Ferrara snuck it through, but with not a lot of velocity. And now Guildford are going to come up by two on one. McNulty gets it through. Chance score. Cable. His second of the night. And I think that might be all she wrote in this one. Guildford four, Coventry one. Is again, it's another odd man rush. Halbert trying to get back, but a comfortable pass from left to right wing, and a sprawling CJ Mott could do nothing. Is McNulty top of the circle? Puck down low, back up to the half wall. Watson waiting. They have to wait a little longer. Is that what sent through and in? Guildford looked at the point, sent it down low below the hash marks instead. And they put in their fifth of the night, a power play goal. Let's take a look at it again. McNulty, looks like he got the final touch right in the paint. Here's Thompson, dumps that one in. Eichstad will get a piece of it. Thompson gets a skate on it. And there might be another odd man rush here. Two on one with Dunbar and a shot goes wide from Fry. He went himself. Not sure the pass was there. As he throws a hit bravely on Brawl who throws one back. As Ferrara always oh, uh, invoked the ire of a Guildford Flame unknown. I think it is Tristan Fry. David Brawl's gonna play the bouncer role and not let anyone into the scrum without ID and a valid reason for being there. Gibson off the stick of Evan Bludoff. Back into the neutral zone. Hamannick. Bludoff brings it into the zone. Hard pass, only finds a McNulty. I don't think Evan Bludoff stopped tonight either. He's had a really nice game. McNulty in shooting, saved by CJ Mott. Just flicks it in disgust with the catcher. The last act of the 60 minutes. Linskaug celebrating with the stick above the head. As a gill for Flames. The first competitive weekend for them is a four pointer. But for the Coventry Blaze, the goose egg is yet to be broken.